You remember people still watch you? Nah, nah well, yeah, the people that did the <laughs> 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 <The> deluded one. <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We are back. Second week running on Wafflin. Okay. You're glad. I'm glad. Are you glad? We're glad. Yes. And before I really talk to you how I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually got a little trend that I have taken part in. And I want to see what you guys think and you boys. I actually think I sent it to you. I mean, it was ages ago, actually, that I did this. Uh, but I sent it in the waffling group chat. And I think you boys said something at the time, but let's see what you think now. So, Tom, get this video up. He's our editor. Get it up on screen now, um, and I'll show the boys. Now this is something that allegedly, is that, a trend? that is what, apparently girls really like it. Like they think it's really sexy. So you come in here and show it to a bunch of boys as usual. Well, I do, no, cause I was thinking like back in the day, like obviously internet melts and stuff, I'd take the piss out of that sort of stuff. Wait, so you're now, now a melt. No, 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 no. I would say you, you have, be, wait, you've become no, an you internet melt. You've become everything you ever hated. <laughs> That's deep. Would you, I, would you say? Because I actually totally agree. You are <laughs> I totally melt. fucking agree, mate. Wait, wait. Can haven't I, I? I have though. Can I ask? Have you sent that to a human? So, uh, mm. yes. You know, basically. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I haven't sent that to anyone. Yes, okay. you have. I, okay. I got requested. Multiple times. <laughs> I got requested. <laughs> Fucking didn't. <laughs> Fucking no, you didn't. Wait, no, because basically what it was is someone that you guys know <laughs> asked me to do it because they found it on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> so they found it on TikTok and were like, "Oi, please send me this." Please send it to yeah, me. But wait, as in they wanted it to like Shams. get off on. Yeah, well, no, just because they they found it quite sexy. So I was like, "Fine, I'll do it." I, it's <laughs> if I'm fine. Fine. <laughs> no, I recorded from two months ago. Yeah, I, no, there's a couple of takes I won't like. I want <laughs> to gonna... see how it takes. <laughs> no, just, it's the same thing. But um, basically, what I want to ask, like, if you're watching, like, did that turn you on? Like because this Ugh. girl who requested wait. it found it fucking attractive and was like sent loads of emojis. Wait, just, so wait, just quickly for those who are listening. Yes. Can you explain what you've just done in that video? No, because they would have just seen it then. Yeah, but if they're listening on Spotify, oh, listening. Or oh, Apple, oh, oh, okay, I understand. Yeah, describe um, so exactly. So it's basically like grabbing uh, the 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 duvet with your hand, which represents like grabbing tits. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What's, what's it meant? To, wait, what is it actually meant to signify? It's. Uh, you know when like a girl can't contain like how horny they are, and they have to grab they have to grab something. I think it's that. Okay, okay, it's really to show. Yeah, no, I'll get so that. Did it work? So this, so she replied with loads of emojis like devil horns, love heart <laughs> eyes. <laughs> I was itchy like this is quality. This is so good. She loved it so much. She sent emojis. Yeah, no, 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 and she was like thought it was amazing. And then I went onto TikTok. I was like, let me look at this trend. See like what is, what is actually going on with it. And apparently. Loads of people find it great. <laughs> so now, you spent hours no, no, on no. the sound on TikTok. <laughs> scrolling through all these videos and clicking on every single profile. Yeah, essentially, yeah. Um, <laughs> but actually, what you've just said regarding me becoming everything I hate. It's true though, isn't it? Do you actually, do you actually think that? But Not I, necessarily hate. No, it's everything you took the piss out of. Yeah. Do you want to know why I took the piss out of it? Because that was secretly you. I could. I, it's because I didn't actually have the fucking confidence to ever try to interact with girls or even be sexually appealing to a girl. Think, mate, I think I actually made a video after going to a Made in Chelsea party once about how there was this girl that I really fancied there and I didn't have the balls to go up and speak to her. Like, I was actually like a pussy in that sense. So yeah, I may have become more of like a wanker look like twat now, but I'm actually- <laughs> but like, <laughs> No, no, no. Is it like, yeah, I like, you, I, I'm a wanker, but I actually have, like, I'm actually enjoying my life more. You took the piss out of someone you wanted to strive to be, but you didn't have the confidence to do it. And now you're finally there. No, but I didn't actually want to be like them because they, they not, not obviously Why? on internet melts, they were like really wet. No, this isn't that wet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's tragic, mate, but I don't. Melt. It was a joke, mate. It was, it was a joke. such a joke. But it was. That was a have joke. Have you ever sent anything? Not like, that. No, no, no. Okay, not on that you know scale. But have you ever sent anything, video wise, to a girl to try and uh, no. sexually stimulate them? No, I could not do that. Why, mate? Wait, no, you, you send a picture of your knob, though. 
Well, yeah, but like not the, really. Well, not in like a sexual way. No. You out of haven't you? No, I have. What do you mean not in a sexual way? No, obviously. Okay. Don't I'm get scared, mate. <laughs> Don't I'm get scared. But I couldn't imagine myself sending that. No, but not like, sending it. But as in, like, can you imagine? I couldn't yourself? even imagine filming that. I, if I filmed that, I'd throw up. But can? But is it because right? You can't see yourself in a sexual way. Like you actually can't visualize yourself as a sexual being. No, I can. No, there are two ends of the spectrum here. Like, no, Mel views can... himself as a sex icon, whereas yeah. you view and yourself I... as a Star Wars icon. It's a bit like that, though, isn't it? It's all about how you... <laughs> no, because that's what I'm saying. Because you know you're taking a piss out of me. Is it because I don't you view can't my... see yourself as a sexual thing, so now no, you're I don't absolutely view myself... attacking me? <laughs> I don't view myself as a sexual icon. I know that I am, but I can't view myself as one. Well, you know no. that you're a... Se- you're, you're, with chest, you believe. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you hardly know you are a sex symbol for the for l- world. Because <laughs> I think if you really did and you had that about you, you wouldn't mug me off like you do. Mate, I couldn't, like, if I if you told me to film that, okay, no, no, I that, physically forget couldn't. That, forget no, but that. anything to do with, like, you know, like, the whole, like, biting the lip. And, no, like, I don't do that shit. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Jesus, boys, boys, you're boys. Don't don't all right, you tell me, right, for example... What about a nice topless mirror video? Like, look at my ass. No, but I don't do that either. Yeah, well, you sort of like run your hand up the No, 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 boys, boys, When, you get, in, when, you, when like you get in that weird sex zone you go to, mm. anything, nothing's off limits. Nothing. You will do anything to get... Yeah, but there was that time that me and Luke hmm? were sat there <laughs> oh, don't and drag I would... He would, he would make me <laughs> go off to the other room to send nudes to this girl because she'd send them back. So he was fucking trafficking me. So basically, <laughs> I can explain this story much better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, on, he, you, we, on, you jumped on Tinder. Oh, buddy? <laughs> you jumped on Tinder yeah. and you got this girl in Snapchat, I think, straight away. Got horny around Luke. And again, then really. instantly, we were sitting in the room, my bedroom that I was staying in that night, and you started like popping off to the other room. <laughs> sexy girl. She'd send one back, you'd come back and he'd be like... Just, don't have the just, confidence. Just got to pop to the kitchen, mate, and then you. What? Well, do you want me to get my? Well, I didn't actually get my knob out. I just took. I just took a couple of <laughs> sexual pickies. But it was he was telling me to do it because he <laughs> saw that it was working. <laughs> and it was I working, was... and he wanted to get the nudes. He was using me. He I was, was telling me. you with that. There has been multiple occasions that you've taken photos of your cock. I haven't. I've done it once, and it ended up on a magazine, and we all saw it. Not a magazine. No, I ended up <laughs> brother magazine. I no. What I did is I was getting family photos for Christmas, and I accidentally on the app on I my did. phone had selected my knob. <laughs> so <laughs> obviously, out. yes, nice photo of me and my nan. And then you proceeded and, to and show and, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I obviously see this one of my cock. <laughs> So I'm like, obviously, I'm going to tell everyone about it, aren't I? Well, you would, wouldn't you? Yeah, but you, you wouldn't show you everyone it. No, you wouldn't. You would literally you'd tell to people. Like you that. would tell people. You'd I be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not going yeah, to my next one. Guys, look at my fucking okay, knob. Okay, look, I, okay, yeah, I've had insecurities about my knob and being complimented. I know I got complimented. His girlfriend <laughs> messaged me saying, nice size. <laughs> she did. She said, it looks it's good. True. It's true. You should be having words, Yeah, but she knew about your insecurity. <laughs> she knew. I know why you wanted to show everyone your cock. What? Because you thought to yourself, fuck, that's quite big. That looks the, all right. And this is what we were talking about last week, wasn't it, where we were saying you use it as a... How, why do we always talk about your cock? Mate, it's the same thing happened to uh, Orlando Boom. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Orlando Bloom Boom. and Justin Bieber. They got packed with their knobs out on holiday. And Bieber didn't care. Neither did Orlando Bloom because it looked big. Oi, th- no, but so if you get packed and your knobs out and it looks big, I, oi, not a big deal. If it looks micro... No, I gross. think this, no matter what, right, if anything embarrassing happens to you online, you have to embrace it. Did you see, like, Joe Wicks was doing one of his little, like, PE classes and, like, he didn't <laughs> realise that they were live. They were live on YouTube and he just let out, like, the wedgest <laughs> fart going. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely, it's a fucking ripper, boys. <laughs> <laughs> just didn't realize. Yeah, then like, point, I had uh, a few, when I was back in the old Fortnite live streams, I thought I'd ended the video, and <laughs> <laughs> you were just there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, you weren't. Were you? Oh shit! For ten minutes. For ten minutes. <laughs> oh <And> dear, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Horrendous. It was like it was you know them ones where you just cock. <laughs> 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 And I'm like, four and alone. Imagine I just got it started having a wank or something. <laughs> do you do that? Straight off the talking to kids. Let me fucking knock one out. <laughs> oh, God. 
God! No. Really, Jordan? Let it out, do you, buddy? <laughs> Fuck it out! I was like, obviously, at one point yeah. when you realise you're live still, so, like, how do you end it? <laughs> how, how, when you when you ended it, how many viewers did you have? Like 400 people just sitting there watching you. <laughs> I was like... Uh, uh, <laughs> I've played it off cool. Oh, it was awful. It was horrendous. Well, along the lines of us boys looking like melts. Us? There's a few images we've been sent in of lookalikes. Have we? Of us. Of us? Um... I don't know if you've already seen these. I actually I, think no, I you haven't. have. The first one I'm going to say, and I've actually said this from, from time, literally, <laughs> from literally school, Torres. Yeah. I right, know. get it oh, up, Tom. I know. It's, get it up. Is it the, the beef, him with beef ta- one? Him with a tattoo looking hench. Mate, I'm Torres, He's mate. He's become you. No, oh. he, and the thing is, he does actually well look like you now. Yeah, it's actually annoying. Now he's a bit weird. tang. He looks... He literally gave up, like, not, well, he retired from football... Yeah, he's addicted no, like, to a different oi. thing. Anyways, another one we've had. Um, <clears throat> if Luke was hench, wait, let me see. If Luke was big, right, and <laughs> grew a mu- little tash, like, gr- wait, yeah, shave the rest of the beard off. Does does he look fit? I haven't even seen. Would that. you, boys and girls? He looks like a classic. Like, gets a lot of ladies. Yeah, in it. This could be you, brother. <laughs> 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 My dog. What do you mean if I get bigger? No, yeah, if you got like, If you went to the gym. Basically, put your head on my body. <laughs> <laughs> the, tash is very, like, the tash is a bit noncy, yeah. Agreed. Well, uh, yeah, to that guy. And then the anyone, last one was gonna to, be me? this. What? What's one, what's one of my one? Oh <laughs> I mean no, we did okay, no, we didn't get any sentence. Is it like Grandpa you know what? Pickles from Rugrats? Have you seen that have you seen that fucking goalkeeper who's like forty years old, like bald, blonde hair, old, fat and ugly? That's what everyone tweets me saying I look at. Okay, Tom's going to get that photo up now. What do you think, guys? Does it look like Theo? Please say no. Mm. Well, and then the last one is apparently a mixture of me and Luke. Oh, so not me. Ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> what do you reckon? Oh, that's vile. Why? Surely that's a mixture of you and a girl. No, it's like me, obviously, like the lips and then the sort of like... Um, <laughs> anyways, anyways. Um, now, guys, guess what? Right, we have our first sponsorship message, and this one I'm excited about, right? Because have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and go, I don't know if I like how I look. All the time. What I'm wearing. That's <laughs> what I mean. Time. Yeah, look, I mean, look at Malfoy right now. I think right it when I look at Theo. Literally. This needs improving. I'm not even going to lie, like myself, I wear the same sort of thing all the time, mm-hmm. and I do need to broaden my horizon. You, you really do, My mum even said, bro... <laughs> <laughs> Brother, you need to dress more like a grown up. She Aww. says I dress like a kid too. All you much. wear is tank tops. Well, yeah, you like are a, a child. Do you know what I mean? So basically, Stitch Fix, okay, is a service where they will allow you to fill out a questionnaire based on, you know, what you like, how much you want to be experimental, this, that, colours, you know, that sort of stuff. And they will present a whole little collection, a nice little package known as your fix, which is a whole load of styles that they'll send to you and yeah, just sort you out. Obviously, before they send, they'll put it together for you so you can pick, oh, no, I don't like that. Yes, I do like that, and sort of amend it. But it's literally done by a person who will manually make it to fit you, yeah. like what they think your style would be best at. So I think it's a great idea. Now, the beautiful thing is, is 20% off is what you're going to get through us, right? So stitchfix.co.uk slash waffling, right, will get you 20% off if you keep everything in your fix. So that's, you know, everything that they give you in your package. If you keep it, 20% off. Quality. And it is so, like, it's top of the range gear. Yeah, it? Proper good brands. This ain't no ordinary bollocks you get on the street. Right? This is top brands. Good quality stuff. Right? So, yet again, Waffling have got a good sponsor. Just Anyways, that. stitchfix.co.uk slash Waffling, 20% off. Anyways, let's get on with the show. So, we're going to start non-sexually. Whoa. I know, I know. I think this will be refreshing. Yeah, it will be refreshing because I think it does, it needs it. You know, it just does. So, this one YouTube career. Oh, don't oh, know. It. Horrendous. Mate, this is actually. <coughs> Horrendous. <laughs> Ready? I wanted <clears throat> to speak to you about this anyway. Because I. Oh, it's not about me, buddy. Oh, shit. Oh, what, why, why, why? What? What are you thinking what? about me, mate? No, 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 nothing. Oh, what were you thinking? Just dreaming what? about Joe in the what, shower again, are you? No, what? I forgot what I was going to say. I anyway. should just delete my channel. <laughs> Stop putting myself through it. <laughs> it's done now, anyway. 
Ah, the new song has been changed over style. My new song. Did, oh, it, I really, wait, did it break 100k? Bro, it's like 160k. That is humiliating. Imagine a Joe Weller YouTube video getting 160k, bro. That's embarrassing. Do you care? I mean, at this point, no. If they're back back then, I would, if I was relentlessly <laughs> uploading, yeah. But like, mate, it just, if, if it was like, two years ago, I wouldn't have heard him from. Mate, in it, in it. That's what I'm saying. Like, Waffling's my main channel. Fuck that main channel. <laughs> I hate it. It brings me nothing but misery, bro. Like, it's nothing good. Miserable place. Anyways, <laughs> uh, just turn it into Joe Ella Viva. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what it's gonna be. I'll probably just put my songs on there. I'll probably put. You know, when we start our DJ tour. It'll be like the after movie and stuff will go on there, like, you know. A fun it'll, channel. Yeah, it'll just be used as a vehicle. Don't care about the views. You're better than that. <laughs> Anyways. All right, lads. And Theo. What? Well, <laughs> guy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Twat. <laughs> a serious problem. Right. Do you think YouTube will eventually die out? I am looking to start a channel, but I'm scared that in a couple of years it will become dead and people won't start watching anymore. Why are you emailing us about that? <laughs> <laughs> so, as dead and buried YouTubers, <laughs> right, in the grave already, God, how do you feel? Because, like, have you actually ever considered, do I need to find another career path? At first, you know at the beginning of starting YouTube, you're like, oh, do this for four or five years, YouTube's only going to last five years. Yeah. Still here. So you are still here, yeah. Still here. Another five years, we'll still be here. I guarantee well, yeah, it. I think it's basically it will last as long as the content yeah. is is watchable because it's just a platform at the end of the day. Um, the thing that has changed, I think, is the the audience on YouTube. Yep. <clears throat> um, like like waffling, cool people watching. <laughs> <laughs> people like you're very very cool, very good, very enjoyable human Handsome. being, and fit. If you're watching waffling. Just like, obviously, back when I was popping on YouTube, that's the audience. <laughs> and now, now, you know, got now it's just full of fucking... <laughs> Do you remember being... <laughs> Rem remember people still watch you? Nah, nah well, yeah, the people... <laughs> <laughs> the deluded one. <laughs> no, listen, it's <laughs> fucking idiots. <laughs> Buy my song. Okay, look, this is horrendous, right? I'm literally, any viewers I did have, gone. <laughs> listen, 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 basically, it's just fucking tweeps. No, it's not. No, 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 no. okay, look. Tweeps. All of our, my old audience are now They're here. waffling members. The real ones. The real ones. <laughs> but I'm telling you, if Except you, want, the ones that like the, like if the you want to be successful on YouTube now, you've got to know how to appeal. To if like, you want to be a successful YouTube, you've got to know the game. God, it's, yeah, now now YouTube's a game, a manipulative game to it make is, people to continue is. watching. Back then, you were talking to your mates, and that's what the difference between on Waffling, we're talking to our mates because these guys have grown with us. Yeah, it's yeah, sort yeah. Of that new it's like, right you know, I also think a lot of the YouTube game, there are a lot of people in the game that are very good at staying friends with people. It's what it's about as well. Yeah, like as in you starting know. starting a channel. Unless you're fucking doing something outrageous, you have to be. I feel brought in by someone who's already established. And guess what happens then? People start bum licking people, right? They start not necessarily being the most genuine. But if it means maintaining a relationship, then that well, could be game. where it gets dodgy. And I don't. I don't want to personally be a part of that. And I, I'm pretty sure, like most people that we are connected to in. Uh, the YouTube space like aren't like that, but it can become very clicky, very like, oh yeah, do especially whatever. Especially in America as well. Yeah, 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 especially in America. And it's like, you know, fuck that. You know, fuck, fuck yeah. that. It also, I think for us particularly, it's very important that you you do accept that your audience will change and you find a different niche. Like I've, I couldn't think of anything worse right now than going out and recording a football video. Mm. But I've changed the audience and gone yeah. down the football match. Football, yeah. like stuff I still enjoy. Yeah. Same so, as you. You couldn't think of anything worse sitting down and recording an internet melt. Yeah, just like on my own. Whereas now it's like I still yeah. do funny videos. This is a funny video, but I prefer it more like chatting with a bar. It's progressing. So it's you, progressing yeah, in well, your career. It's doing something new and different. You talk about like diversification, obviously. Now your main thing is your second channel where you're... Mate, that, the, one of the reasons I but, started that second channel was because my body couldn't do the main but, channel anymore. But, yeah. but, but you talk about like, oh, uh, when I first started, I said I'd do it for five years, still here. In five years' time, do you still want to be playing FIFA? I don't know if I enjoy it. There's people look at Nepenthes, mate. He's like, no, no, no and, and, and like, mate, if you're making money, like, look, obviously. I'm saying, it. is if that I, what you I want to if do? If I don't enjoy it, I won't do it. Okay. 
Yeah, that's, that's like, basically the point. Waffling's going to take over the world. We're, we're to the moon right now. Oh, 100%. So like, that's what I want to do. But right now, I'm enjoying the second channel. It's actually yeah. fun. So I'll keep keep doing it. Actually, on the, on the topic of Waffling to the moon and this YouTube thing, <clears throat> I, the first time we did it, it, when you were starting off, how obsessed were you with numbers? Irrelevant, oh. because I think I, waffling for me at the beginning. No, no, not not waffling. Just, I'm talking about. Oh, obviously, YouTube. bear in mind for me, huh? waffling is like the first. Oh thing. wait, so this you, is my first experience. Are you having the uh, the ten out of ten anxiety attacks? No, no. But what I started to do was gauge waffling success on the numbers. Oh. Whereas slippery this, slope, mate. Oh. So oh. the. Si but what? Spe no, no, right. So on well, Sunday, I mean, on Sunday, I had like this revelation because I was speaking to you before the episode went out and I just deleted Creator Studio. Well, because, so you wouldn't look at the stats? Yeah, because I didn't want to know. What I didn't want oh, is to, for any reason, uh, uh, Sunday evening or Monday morning, I didn't want to be like, oh, that wasn't successful because I'd watched the episode back and I knew it was like funny and good and I wanted this to be the success, not the figures that Maybe. came from it. I say to you now that it doesn't, I don't affect me by numbers. Waffling doesn't affect me. Second channel, main channel doesn't affect me. But I didn't look at my video I uploaded Friday night until Monday morning. Because you didn't want it, didn't you, you didn't want it to ruin your weekend. I knew for so a fact, I knew for a fact if I saw that, it would piss me off. But in general, I wouldn't care because I'm over that now. Mm. But I knew it's still deep yeah, down. That, well, deep that's down. the same. Like when I put that song out, which like, go and listen to it. Like, come on, lads. <laughs> Like when I put that song out, mad about it, uh, I didn't I didn't look at the figures as well because obviously YouTube's algorithm, whether it was like a good song or not, if a video that's like you know two minutes long, it's then they, they don't put it into the algorithm as much because they can't put many adverts in it. Like it's so, it's like so they'll literally <laughs> just no, but mate, I'm not that, taking no, 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 that. If that was yeah, ten yeah. minutes long, it would have been at least like different in you know. Yeah, there no, would have been, been yeah. more. No, I know, I know. So that is disheartening in itself. You know, if you're putting a video out that short, it's going to get that. But secondly, yeah, like you don't, you just it's you can't not look at numbers when say you've had numbers that you know I've had millions and millions of views, top mm. view video sixty six million, then twenty five million, thirty million, yeah. and then you put a video out and it's like oh hundred k, and then if you're really like hot on numbers equals success and happiness, mm. you're just going to be in this horrible circle. Now, the thing is that, I, that is my focus, and that's why I love the DJ, and I love like what me and Elliot are on to, and I love what we're doing here. Like It's because, mate, I actually fucking enjoy it. But at, the same, I mean? at the same time, even though that didn't piss you off, that like it did shit, mm. you still probably deep down like, it's a bit annoying. But You're always, you are always going to care. Not, not, remember how back in the day, like if you got like a video that did shit, uh, he's bit his curtains. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. that was the be all I mean? and end all because that's that literally defined yeah. my life. It's like I hated making the videos, and then if it didn't do well, then I would h hate yeah. hate how, that it didn't do well. I mean, if you didn't get hundred k first hour, that would be yeah, it'd be miserable. You. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas, like you know, now like the past actual year, probably starting from summer last year, yeah. I've had the most genuine happiness yeah. since about the age of nineteen. Yeah. And yeah, I'm with, I'm with you doing that. my thing, yeah. just like yeah, and and that's that's what if you're wanting to become a YouTuber, <laughs> I'd say you need to you need to, to be learn, a priority. You need to learn from numbers. Don't get us wrong, but don't be obsessed with them. Like the most I've ever enjoyed YouTube when I stopped looking. I used to be on Social Blade every day. Yeah, every well, it's day. It's easy to become addicted, mate. It's every so, so easy. Same with yeah. Instagram. Same same with that's why you literally have like boys and girls nowadays that. Have a internet like or Instagram persona, mm. and if and if you do anything like if you've got a photo of like say a certain Instagram model that thing you know gets them sales only from a certain angle at all times, and you just randomly go bop and show them it, they go that's not me, oh, no, that, oh, that's ugly, oh, no, that's, but that's the real you. Yeah. It's like same the ones that are only post with a filter on their face. It's like you're literally conditioning yourself to be fucking miserable, mate. Because yeah. that ain't real. Yeah, every time you see yourself, you're going to be like, fuck, why do I look like that? And yeah. then you're going to want the filter. Yeah. yeah. It's a circle. Straight Just up, mate. Drop some knowledge Straight there. up. Speaking <coughs> on that, though, but obviously enjoying <coughs> what you put out. Obviously, I've only really done like brand deals on my main channel. Um, one brand deal we that, we, that we both done recently, right? Stereo. I don't know if you've seen it. A lot of people. Now, we're getting... Are we allowed to say how we get paid on that? Are you not, you're not allowed to say that? I okay, I won't then. But... Basically, like, can you follow mine? <laughs> because this fucking... Because that doesn't give anything away. Because this 
idiot, right? He's getting put on the recommended page. Oh, of, <laughs> and everyone, like, what they have to, they have to follow certain people when they first sign up to no, the app. They get recommended. It's, well, like, it's just like Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, then I'm not. So he's got like thirty five thousand followers, and I've just got like a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> it's really humiliating. <laughs> it makes me feel like shit. Game is now, the game. Follow, follow, followers don't mean anything. But when you're getting paid most of it, <laughs> um, like, can you follow my stereo? Just type in Joe Weller you're on stereo. Get so many followers please, from guys, it. please. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Um, another little topic that I actually did want to discuss with you. Yep. Have you ever bought an OnlyFans? No. <laughs> no. I actually haven't. We have a mate who did. Yeah. And obviously, Luke was going to buy it as a joke, but didn't. Oh, we had a mate that started. When was that wait, ever? Wait, a mate you? that started an OnlyFans, and we were going to buy it. So, how many have you bought? No, no, no. It, all I know is that it's a very slippery slope, mate. Because like, are you in the DMs as well? I, no, 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 no. I, I, uh, for extra. I was just like a social experiment. <laughs> decided that, and this was a little while ago. For so, a video? No, no, for ages ago, ages ago, mate. I bought it. It's quality. Really? It's, it was quality, but then I realised this is actually really bad. Why hey, is it hey, bad? Wait, yeah. wait. Why no, is no, no, because it's not good for the health. What type of OnlyFans was it? No, because I've given up pornography. I've given up the lot. Given up porn, but, but buying OnlyFans doesn't really go <laughs> in the same sentence. No, but it was buying porn. It was a long while ago. And giving now up I've... free porn to buy porn. Yeah, why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I... Internet? No, but that was ages ago. Yeah, last week. No, 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 I don't do it anymore. But what I did notice from it, and I can understand why people buy into the OnlyFans thing, because it's really realistic... It's Real it's humans. Not, no, and this is what I'm saying. Content of now, people want realism, authenticity, ge- genuineness. Yep. Not like before. It was about like more production, uh, porn stars. production, but also like being loud and extra and extra and extra, like, like real. heightened self, uh, like personality. Whereas now it's about the realism. Do you and th- it's the same with pornography. It is. It is. Do you think that's why podcasts have taken off? Because this is like sitting down at a, a, a long long real yeah, level. Hundred percent, bro. Hundred percent. It's like like this. Like there's so much fake bullshit in the world that to find authentic of authenticity is quality and. Like, I mean, you look at my sexual fetishes, right? I like realism. I prefer a girl to be wearing their fucking uniform that they wear to work. Like, bearing in mind, they, it's like a secretary sort of thing. <laughs> than, than, like, an Ann Summers thing that's designed to be sexual. Because it's, it's a bit too, like, you know, when it's... All this the uh, fucking stockings and over the top. Well, it's like, it's not like, a secretary. It's, wait, wait, it's like, yo, you're meant to find this sexual. You're meant to find this sexual. Whereas, dressed in, like, a... An off office outfit. Uniform. It's like no, dressed in like an office outfit <laughs> is not. Can you just let me speak? <laughs> just let me speak. Dressed in like an office outfit is not necessarily intended, but it's it's quite real. It's real. I get you. Yeah, realism. I know you, what, have you had the opportunity to go to someone's work yet? No. As in, go like go to someone's work in an office. One well, shag them. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, what? No, it's not like Starbucks. Mm. No, oh, no, 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 wait, no, no. wait, 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 wait. So the I was just thinking because basically I have a lot of flirty banter. Well, used to ages and ages and ages ago. I used to have flirty banter with a certain like worker. And I was like, well, this is quality mostly because you're in a workplace (laughs) and this is your place of work. But it's not just that. This is naughty. You love the fact that she's very natural and very raw. Well, it's just realism, isn't it? It's real. Yeah, like something you can't get more natural than like. Like, There's something about real. There's something about authenticness that's just good. You want to watch it. You want to shag it. You want to, you want to, you want to know, but it's in like, if you think about it, it applies to food. The best food is real food. Yeah. But it real conquers all in every field mate, of life. Mate. And I've also seen this going around from a female perspective. People talking about like men in like their work trousers, as yeah. in like you know what Sparkies wear. Yeah. Like that's been really? doing the rounds on like Twitter, Insta, Physical and dad labor. Bod. Yeah, no, hard not, labor. Not dad bod. Huh? Just like. <laughs> <laughs> it's in like, but yeah, like working. Manly men. But being real, what's a toxic masculinity? The opposite of us. But yeah, um, so only fans quality. Nah, it's wait, shit. So, wait, how many have you got? Nah, just, oh, oh, if top. I go on your phone right now and click on only Do you have fans, the app? app, of course he's got the app. There's, it's not an app; it's a website. It don't oh. have an app. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> but um, nah, it's just quality. That's what I'm going to say for that. For that now, you pay extra, um, though, can't you? 
I don't pay extra. I no. I don't. Would you ever? Would I've you ever? Cancelled it all now. It was just a one-time thing. But would you? Boys drop OnlyFans. I, I know not you. Do we'd... that, mate. I know people. That's the thing. Obviously, I know people that are in relationships with girls that do gay only fans, yeah. like holding their mate's cock and like all this shit. I'm like, brother, okay? I'm like, <laughs> brother. Game's the game. Let's be realistic. Oh, let's be realistic. Game is the game. Yeah, there's the an day. element, okay, yeah, let's make make this bread. Maintaining, maintaining an erection whilst you're holding your mate's cock and shoving things up your ass. I don't know. I, that, for me, that just wouldn't sit right if I did that with having a girlfriend or just, did, I don't no, think I'm straight. Isn't it no, I don't know. Isn't it, I don't isn't know. It, isn't, it, I, isn't, it, is it, is it not just cheating? I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's, that's, that's... Is it not just cheating? But would you let your bird get no. with another girl? No! Get with another girl? No! <laughs> no, but you... <laughs> unless you could join in. <laughs> no. no, you can watch it. <laughs> no! It's cheating! Would you Would you have a threesome? You, your bird, and if a bird was like, I really want to have a threesome with this girl... No, obviously no. Right, Only if she why said it's okay. You? Yeah, if she says, I want this, please. <laughs> I, you have to say <laughs> yes. Would you be up for that? Well, only if she's demanding but it. But would it get you going? The only thing I'll say yes is that if she really, if that's what makes her happy, then I'll, I'll have to do it. But would you enjoy it, bruv? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> if she's enjoying it, I'll have to enjoy it. No, but it's in like, come on, bro. Yes. Like, be serious. Is, in, is that something that you'd be like, this is... I don't actually, I don't actually think I'd want to. Oh, that's good. I really, I don't actually think I'd want to because I, I think I'd find it a bit weird that seeing my girlfriend getting off with this other girl. I, I you s- are technically, like, you are just making love with someone else, which isn't me. Making love. Like, it's true, though. <laughs> yeah, but you can just do purely sexual things as well. Can you? I, you can't, feelings doesn't always have to be involved. I don't know, yeah, but, wait, it but, when, it's someone you, wait, but when it's someone you love, yeah, and they're kissing someone else, it's just like... I had a, I had a female friend. Fucking horny. Yeah, but... It is at the same, uh, yeah, but it is also a bit like, oh. Right, I had a female a friend you know what yeah. I mean? that, on, that wanted a threesome with her you. boyfriend no, oh. and her friend. This was ages ago. Yeah. So they they were doing it, and she said, like, halfway through, she just got fucking livid because she was yeah, like, my boyfriend is sleeping with yeah, another you would, girl. You yeah. would. And I think, is that, is that, because I, I did actually have a point, like, how do you know when you truly like someone? And is it like the idea of, like, them. Being loving towards any other human yeah. really is actually a horrible thing. It is like horrible. You want them for you, yeah. Because like, yeah, like obviously that's what I'm feeling about my girlfriend. That's not my girlfriend. Shit, you're in love. I actually am, mate. I am, bruv. The, the 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 like friends with benefits thing, which I assume is sort of your. It's not friends with re- benefits. What, it's love it? with love. Yeah, but <laughs> love is love. But you're not. Love you're not love in a relationship, me. are you? Yes, she yes. is. Oh, she's okay. She's my girlfriend, but she's not. That, yeah, but now it, I don't have a girlfriend, boys. He does. No, I don't. Mate, the last clip said you did. Yeah. Ch- what true. is that? It's Tom made one out of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mate, Did. at the end of the day, just Did. accept that you are you are both off limits to other people. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah. No, I don't know. But this is the thing. Like, if no, you this saw, is the thing. What you, you want saw, her to be off limits, if you, but you don't yeah. want to be off limits. If you walk Everyone's in, their own person. If you walk in on her getting rattled by some bloke, oh, fucking... your heart is broken and you're going ape shit at that geezer. We ain't Love walking out of the room geezer. alive, is she? Oi, I always find this a weird concept, though. Like, if, you're you're, gonna... if your girlfriend was sleeping with someone else... It's very well, logical. Yeah, yeah, but but think about it. It's not actually the geezer's... No, but like... it's very logical. You're angry at a girl. You can't hit her, so you hit the bloke. Right. But you know, like, there are people that will literally cheat. Um, as in, like... Oh, are we fucking real here? <laughs> <laughs> There's people as in... No, I don't know. Basically, <coughs> yes, I have slept with girls that have boyfriends. I didn't know it at the time, but it was after, no, genuinely after it came out. Didn't know at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I have a, shut up! Shut up! I don't want to know! Shut no. Basically, they have boyfriends, but they are literally in themselves okay with getting like really it's a case of they just could they just got swooped by you yeah but that's fucked they just do because that's like and then they go home to their boyfriend pre- pretend like everything's okay go home for a cuddle after yeah which is the wait, that's, that's the most fucked up thing in it that like you're someone is able to come home to you and be it, like, like it's nothing the lie you can tell it's the lie it's the lie do you know what i mean 
Like if you're just laying there and you find out that they've cheated on you. So if you, you do, if you there. do happen to cheat on your partner, just tell them. Yeah. Well, it's gonna get to that point, surely. Either it's gonna eat you up and you just you say it because like yeah, yeah or you just haven't got a conscience. Like or, I don't know. Like, do you have a conscience? I do. I think, mate. I can't. Like, if I'm bullshitting about something, you can tell from. Did a mile you off. feel bad after that? <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, but then at the same point, like, what, do, what does Joe owe yeah, to but, this other? No, but, this no, other but this male? is the point. Game's a game. It, <laughs> <laughs> but this is so true. You don't give a fuck. No, uh, this, I, no, no, but you don't. But if it happened to you, you would give a fuck. Naturally. Yeah, but, yeah, but it's where everyone's everyone's their own the, person. <laughs> It's like, look, if you're getting mugged off enough where you can't tell that this girl don't love you... It's true. It's just like, I'm doing you a favour by putting the nail in the coffin. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's how he me. That's how he sees it. Oh, Joe's making you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Shag her again no. if you want. <laughs> Thank you for making me so no, clear no, no, now. Again, no, it's not personal to me, but as in, like, if, if... I like to think I'm very aware of, like what someone or especially like a partner would be feeling if they're not totally into it. Some people cannot tell if someone's secretly not actually that into them. Like the social abilities just mm. isn't there to be able to be aware to that. So it's just like But do you think that sometimes have you ever like spoken to someone who has a boyfriend or girlfriend and they're like, mate, I can't fucking stand them. I don't want to be with them. And then you see them together in this like like fucking Shakespeare. What do you mean Shakespeare? I like like, get on really like well. Romeo and Juliet sort of shit. Well, they get on really well, but he's slagging her off behind their yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've never seen that. What you've never seen? Surely you've seen. I hate her. He's shit. Whatever. I oh, will love you. No, I've never. Se- I have never seen that. Really? You must have. You must have yeah. had, had friends that not, like, slag not, off their not, girlfriends. Yeah, and yeah, but, yeah, but not to the extent you're saying. But like Obviously, that, that. That's my my point is is when you say like oh if they can't realise that like their girlfriend's not into them. A lot of the time, I think the girlfriend is probably, or boyfriend or whatever, is signalling that they are into them when they're with them and then when and they're then, not with oh, them. Oh, yeah, playing it cool. Oh, yeah. Well, I've seen, yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, you, okay, yeah, I've seen people say, oh, yeah, no, nah, we're not really exclusive. Yeah, yeah, we're that's sort a of big like, one. Yeah, we're, I'm basically single, shag someone, um, but then see, but then when they're with their partner, oh, yeah, I love you, you're the one, you're the one. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, okay, along the lines of, you know, not being able to judge a situation, sort of getting catfished again. Oh, for yeah, fuck's yes, sake. yes, yes. I remembered another time, and it wasn't. It's not in the between last week and this week. Cause Definitely I'm, not. No, no, no. It actually isn't. It yeah, actually you know, isn't. I know, I know. This one was uh, this year, though. I will say it's it only was been this year. Three months. Yeah, yeah. It was this year. <laughs> How long have you been with? Basically, <laughs> right. So I matched someone on Tinder. Oh, it was like a few kilometers away. Um. And it's just like, oh, yeah, get chatting. Speak with them on the phone. And it was like, oh, yeah, should we do like a little fucking... Social distance meeting. Social distance, you're now in my bubble meetup and party. <laughs> nah, not party, but, you know, just sort of like practice DJing and do it social distance. Cardio. Yeah. Um, anyways, so they're like, oh, yeah, do you want my snap maps? Like, do you want to turn your... Sm- that's do, you want me, do you want me to turn my snap maps on? I mean, that's really creepy. And I'm like... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. As in, as in, you know, to see when they're going to be arriving. Anyway, so you see them in the car on the snap maps, right, uh, you know, going and, and then arriving at my house, and they're like, we're outside, as in, like, on Snapchat. So then I ring. Oh, no, my phone's not working. I can't, I can't answer. So then I physically come outside. <laughs> I come outside. <laughs> and I'm just like, you're not here, mate. You're not here. And then... Their car sort of just jumps and it's slightly up the road. And they're like, oh, I must have driven up up the road. Anyways, bruv, we literally, like me and Elliot, <laughs> we she's meant to be bringing like um, a mate or whatever. Um, we uh, go in our car and literally driving to where it says their car is. Anyways, we're literally driving around, for, a- them. No, driving around for ages with them being like, oh, yeah, look, I'm here. Look, can you not see? Mate, the whole time we figured out it's bullshit. The photos they were using was a TikToker's. Right, Addison and Ray. They, no, 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 they must have literally just hacked the snap maps and be like changing their car all around town. We were literally for three hours, <laughs> bruv, three hours driving around. Like, how wait, desperate how can't we see? <laughs> Awful, bruv. Awful. Quite desperate. No, that's when it, that's when <laughs> three hours around the town. Guys, we just can't see you. I know you're really, you're almost there. Where <laughs> are you? But I spoke with them on the phone before, didn't I? So you followed them. But if they were hours. outside your house at one point, they couldn't have been that lost. You needed to follow Guys, them you around. To no, 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 because their car just decided to we jump. They, so they'd driven up the road. 
But really, like it was, oh, they must have just been on some sort of like hacking device, <laughs> changing where their car is and being like, oh, oh no, wait, 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 wait. Do you know I, I mean? thought that a car did pull up and you. Fl- no, 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 no. At no point did we see any car. Oh. <laughs> it was just they were blatantly just on their snap maps, just like and moving they, where they and were. And they probably have your snap maps and just seeing you drive around. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot going around <laughs> Eastbourne. <laughs> Mate, yeah. But the thing is, it was a bird. It was a girl because I spoke to them on the phone. It just must have been some absolute catfish that's actually had me on strings. Like, <laughs> what the hell, mate? Mate, you drove that's around Eastbourne for three hours. Yeah, and went to Hailsham and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. And they were start saying what car, uh, what kind of kind of car it was as well. Like, we oh. can't see you. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't see, see you. you. That is humiliating, mate. <laughs> she had you on fucking strings. <laughs> Oh, just Guys, fuck just, off. They might just be there. <laughs> Wait, surely you and Elliot are just like, surely like after an hour, you're like, oh, no, the fact that, the real. fact that on the on the map it was showing that they were like outside your house and then you somehow <laughs> made it, must, it to it must, it must be a Ferrari or something. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's awesome, mate. He's awesome. How did you know um, but should we move on to another thing? Oh, should we move yeah. on to a question sent in by the viewers, the Waffling viewers, which I will remind you, you can get your own questions in at askjoefeo at gmail.com. Get them in. I will go through all of them. Yep. So like, yeah. send whatever you want. <laughs> I don't want to be, I don't want to no. be logging on to these emails and seeing what I don't want to be seeing. To confirm, they don't have to be sexual. No, if, they you, don't. if you've got other problems, they, yeah, they, do you know what as well? Like, because we well. do get like bare sexual ones, and I know that is what waffling's about—very fruity, very open. But um, yeah, to switch it up would would be cool. And I will say, when you email in, you know what it says—the topic, you know, the tagline. tagline yeah. Really, like that is yeah. so important because I'm not going to lie. Some of them, I just look at the tagline. If it's like Jeez. that's what I judge it by sometimes. So yeah. that needs to be in life as well. Yeah. Um. Oh my God, you didn't see this, did you? Did you see the waffling? Uh, who we were following on Instagram. We. Amount, yeah, like I said, in the waffling account on Instagram. Did you see it start to go up? No, what? no like no. who we were following. So I thought I was on my my Instagram. Anyways, we had an email saying, loads of girls. Uh, uh, say like, I'm the... guessing Weller forgot to change the account before oh. following those Insta models on the waffling page. How many did you follow? Yeah, it's just seven or eight or some <laughs> shit. Nah, but like, and then it hit me because <laughs> I got a problem. <laughs> I think I no, I do, mate. Of course you do. Was it really blatant? Nah, mate. Every day we're getting screenshots sent to us nowadays. Even just like <coughs> we were just scrolling for Instagram, he took the phone off me and demanded to see who was I scrolling <laughs> past. What were you? What with Mia Khalifa? Yeah, he demanded. You went on her account straight away. Let me see that. <laughs> You get taken over by like okay, animalistic. Okay. Well, I'm going to say this because this is another point that really ties in well, right? Because we're currently talking about my problem is like a a negative thing almost, right? <laughs> but hear me this: yeah, pandas, no. pandas, <laughs> right, are struggling to survive because of their low sex drive. So, is having a high sex drive actually? Like, a, does it make you like a superior <laughs> being because hey. you're like survival of the fittest? You're not fucking pandas. No, but it's in like humans. No, but in any fucking animal kingdom, like you, you, you. If have you've sex got lower sex re- drive, yeah, but you're not gonna. You're if you've got no sex drive, is, then you're not gonna reproduce and and continue. There's a difference repro- between procreating and literally being addicted to sex every single day. And being unable to get off OnlyFans and Instagram. <laughs> I got. I got to agree the with you on this. Yeah. Look, you're a sex addict. Just say it. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's not the worst thing to be addicted to. There are worse things out there. I mean, on, in a, on like a serious, on a serious, serious note, note, have you genuinely considered speaking to but wait, bef- someone? Bef- what, like a professional? Yeah. A therapist. But before like, that. Do you think it's something that, like what what, what has Russell Brand said about look, it? Look, before we go into it, you also have to say that, look, mate, you're 25. 24. I'm 25. 25. Yeah. Oh, fucking live your life. Live it. Just live. Like, yeah. That is, just but, live then, your life. but then when you're like 35, you're still doing it. Then it's like a bit like you're turning into Wayne and you don't want to turn into <laughs> You don't want to be Wayne in the mate. Do you not think he's geezer? No, really. <laughs> you really nonce. don't want to be. No, I don't. I'm not going to lie. I, nonce. I'm not going to lie. I think that, that, that is a fact. I don't want to be that, mate. I think at one point, I, yeah, 
Like I want it, I almost yeah want to want it to calm down, but at the same time I love it. But you always talk about I you love it, yeah. mate. You always yeah. talk about Even that pizza. problems. I think you, we should get Russell Brown wait, on the show. No, mate, that would actually be really yeah, helpful. We could. Twi- I'm sure we could reach out to Russell. Imagine him here in the new Watson studio. Your Look at the logo. Look at it. Fuck off. You could do some shrooms with him afterwards. It's quality. Yeah, no, like stuff like that. Wait, actually, what? People, I was looking yeah, through the emails. We got some emails about uh, you talking about yeah, yeah. It, your experience with shrooms psychedelics and one person was basically i'm not sure if they were having a go but they were talking about how we didn't talk about it enough but we talked about it enough to encourage people to do it apparently right but he basically had a really really bad trip right. so he like gave <laughs> gave us like a list of like things that he would do if he were to do them again, i.e. like safety measures. Yeah, 100%. So just so everyone is clear that we're not encouraging anyone to do any form of drugs, but when you did them, yeah, did you have any safety measures? In yeah, place? so this, first time I did it, do it with someone that's done it before. Because then you're both not. Yeah, because like, then even whether it's positive experience or negative, like someone that's been there before can sort of, like, talk or, like... They have the experience to handle the situation. Yeah, so like imagine going to London Dungeons without a guide talking you through <laughs> what, what you're going... Mate, it's literally what it's like, bruv. Exactly the same. No, 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 that's what it felt like. London Dungeons. Nah, yeah, literally, like, like, London Dungeons going to different freaking parallels. And a lot quality. of it... A lot quality. of it, is it not down to that reassurance? If you've got someone there that is like, mate, you're okay, you're going to be okay, yeah. you're, it's all fine, that's going to obviously... Whereas if you're sitting there on your own, just like, fuck, fuck, Yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck. it's just because it can be very confusing. It's going to get worse and worse. Very, very confusing as well. Like if you're with people that you're not comfortable with, naturally there's more anxiety that you're experiencing when you have people that you don't, you're don't, you not fully comfortable with and that can influence. Likewise, if you've you know been drinking the night before or whatever and you know alcohol's a depressant, so that yeah. can cause negative feelings. But being in like, com- like in your house, comfortable, nice... L- Surrounded like, by friends. Yeah, like you haven't got freaking an <coughs> S- an essay due tomorrow. Like you're chilling. Do you know? What, no, because no, that can be like praying people out as well. Do you know? Yeah, what I mean? Just yeah. like completely relaxed yeah, yeah, yeah. and just like both doing the same amount. Then yeah, you're on the same wave, and then just it's it's very enjoyable, but also life changing. Yeah, you did. And say I that. do stand by that. I just do, man. You I sort of do. look down upon us, don't you? No, <laughs> but and I don't know where this idea comes from. It's, it's like every, and that's why like, I almost cut off talking about it last time because it's like I bring up the, the psychedelic experience that I've had and you just take the piss. <laughs> I don't. No, bro, not you all do. the time. You just no, take the piss. It in, 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 in fairness, like also, so, yeah, but, like sometimes the way the way you talk about things is is in a funny way. Yeah, but I do. Yeah. So like you make it, it funny. I get that, but also it'd be like I want to talk about it on an actual level, and the second I say the word philosophical, you just literally no, laugh no, at no, me, it's, bro. It's, no, it's when you say it's there. Just like, yeah, you do yes. refer to it as there. No, that a lot. is literally like wait, but, but like where is there? Look, it's like, like if you wanted to talk about it on a deeper level, let's do it. Yeah, you but need to do it, mate. Time, but at the same time, it's very easy to take the piss out of. Yeah, and okay. that's why it's funny. Okay, but we'll go there. Moron. <laughs> <laughs> Lower down in but, life. Can we just confirm? What we're not encouraging. At no point in this show do we ever encourage the use of <laughs> any form yeah, of drugs. Class A's, bin them all. We are all good people. Well, fuck me sideways. Smart. Do what you like. Yeah. Anyways, this is the other thing. I should say. YouTube versus TikTok boxing. Just got announced. Well, what's that all about? Keemstar broke the news. Right. Uh, Another thing that we are not getting paid for, which we should be. Yeah. But we won't talk about the price. Bryce Hall getting paid five mil up front plus what? the rest. How can I just... Because really, oh, so at the, this point, the should, we, should we just do a rematch, mate? Should we just do a fucking rematch? Bro, let's just do it. If we fix it. No. If we, if you fix it, if we no, bro, we'll I do, win. No, we could. It goes how it goes. But what I'm saying, bro, the originators, the people that started this whole YouTube boxing thing, Shit. doing an actual event, bro, think the waffling audience would sell it out alone. Like we could do serious figures. It's me and you. Get in shape as well. We'll fucking do it. Yeah, we'll go for it properly. The only thing I struggle with is like I am scared to get punched. Yeah, I know, but it's in like... I do punch. Like, when I punched you, I felt bad. I said sorry, and he's like, what are you doing? Surely now, a fight between the two of you would be so unfair. No. What are you saying? I'm I'm saying... I'm not seeming. I don't have to throw a punch. (laughs) I'm taller and have a bigger reach. Yeah, he bottles under pressure. Exactly, he's going to batter me. If I'm put in a depression situation, I thrive. Exactly. You know that my money is on Weller. Well, you're going to lose it. 
He's gonna lose. No, he's yeah, he is yeah, yeah, he's gonna lose it. Yeah, come on, mate. Let me. <laughs> Should we do it? What? Wait, wait. Can you talk us through these figures? What these? money? Yeah, what All money right. would you have to be paid in order to make that happen? If they're listening, real, real, realistically, yeah, two hundred fifty k. So you get two hundred fifty k, hundred k. Okay, so you get hundred k. I get a mil. Absolutely not. No, because that's probably realistic. Well, he's you got more followers more, on you stereo than you. Bring you. More than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably worth <laughs> about twenty quid now, mate. Thirty-three times more followers. I on know. Stereo I than know. You. I ain't shit anymore, mate. I ain't shit. Let me uh, just the truth. Let me I read know, your fucking worldwide DJ. DJ. The headline act. Austin McBroom. Oh, uh, the, Who's he, that? He's the, some twerp on TikTok. The, no, he's the uh, family channel vlogger guy. Uh, he's fighting Bryce Hill, TikToker. Uh, Bryce getting fired. Is Deji old. fighting on it? Who's he against? I'm not sure who he's against, but rumour has it it's about 500 bags for him. How much? I mean, uh, who's he against? Like? P- potentials are Faze Jarvis. He's that's tiny, a 500k match. Or How's I that don't know, a 500k I don't know match? This is on the list. Taylor Holder. Oh, the fuck is that guy? Da- Danny Duncan. <laughs> yeah. Fuck off. Tanner Fox. I know who he is. Right, irrelevant. Is. That irrelevant. Unless Anderson Gibbs on that list. This is the off. biggest bullshit. Fuck off. Uh, Slim snaked Gibb. And apparently Slim might be on this, and Gibb's not on it for some reason. Well, Why is Gibb not on it? They're all the, fucking scared well, of him. All these pussies fly, fight for clout. They're all right? pussies. They fight for money. If the they... only boxing match on this whole entire fucking thing, well, the two that weren't for any money, as in weren't about the money, were mine and yours and mine and JJ's because we didn't earn like hardly Real. anything from that. And that's the facts. The rest of this, they're using our creation to, to just get money and then fuck Profit off. Profit off. And that's the, the thing. That's what everyone thought that we did. They thought that we faked the whole thing for money. Didn't get anything. I learned a lot from that video. Yeah, it was fucking bullshit. I'm pretty sure I paid Mark. Bitter. <laughs> yeah, no, no, isn't what, it? For the <laughs> paid mark on my, your video? <laughs> Did he? <laughs> yeah. so. How do you do that? I don't know. Just let it slide, don't worry, boys. Um, like no, realistically, like, the time. fact that Gibbs not on it is because we're all fucking pussies and are scared to fight someone who's actually beat him up. Yeah. yeah like, that's that's, that's an American thing, that's isn't facts. it? No, but Deji's scared to fight. Deji Gibbs. is scared to fight Gibbs. He of uses course. the, the KSI thing yeah. as just a bollocks, really. He is scared to fight Anderson Gibbs. What do you mean, the KSI? If you're not scared to fight Gibbs, you are an idiot. Wait, clip it. clip it. Clip it. Deji is scared to fight Anderson Gibb. He uses the KSI brother thing as bollocks to cover that up. Fact. This response from Deji incoming. Fact, <laughs> bro. If, but, but, look, Please look, admit it. If you're not scared of fighting Gibb, you are an idiot. Like he's a, I know he didn't perform against Jake. Right. R.I.P. But he's still a bully that will fucking he's, come at you. He's a calculated psychopath. Yeah. It'd be, but, but, and I don't mean any disrespect to... To give here at all, but if you were Deji and you saw that fight against Jake, you're not going to be like, yeah, surely I can cash in. Like I could probably beat this guy, and I'm I'd trust that Givers has, that, is, is actually a lot better than he showed on that night. But ooh. surely that's going to fill you with so much confidence. Yeah, and also he'd play on the fact that in the back of Gibbs' mind during his second fight, it's like don't bottle it again, mate. Don't yeah, bottle there is it. that pressure. And also when Deji sees like clips of Gibbs sparring and who he's sparring, it's just like. Yeah, stay away from that. Oh, well, no, say, say you were up for fighting. Obviously, he called you out first. If you were, if you felt like you were in, can, like the right nick for it, would you have wanted to fight him? So this, I don't do boxing because I like doing boxing. Right from the very very beginning, that's what it was. Actually, no, I like training boxing in the garden. Yeah. But I don't <laughs> fight. I don't do a fight yeah. because I just want to have a boxing fight. It's like there's got to be that burning desire. I want to beat that person in a boxing match. That's that's the thing about the JJ fight afterwards. I mean, even before it, I was saying, look, I'm not gonna do another one. I'll beat him, and that'll be the end of it because I only want to face him. I don't want to start. I don't want to bec- you know become a boxer and start taking on loads of people. There's no drive. Like I literally have no desire. To fight anyone right now doesn't say that doesn't mean I never will ever again in my life. But right now, there's not a burning desire to fight anyone. You have to be intrinsically motivated to get behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you know, for maybe these guys. Um, oh, it's American idiots. They yeah, like as in, if you're doing it just for the money and you literally like have no uh, actual pride in like you know dignity. Yeah. Then you're just gonna just do it for the money, yeah. and it's, that's fine if you want to do that. Brilliant. But I've had enough of just doing things for the money. You know, brand deals, that. all of that, just doing things with the money. My thing is, like, I want to really fully invest in what I'm doing yeah. and enjoy it. That's why the DJ career, like, obviously, we're getting Elliot on next week. We're going to talk about all of that. The whole Elliot situation, it's all going to come out. Everything, bruv. 
Shit, everything because like obviously me and him have been mates again for, a for ages now and like not done it publicly like last time where we're like making videos we're just like fucking mates like real life mates Calm as well, but have, like it. yeah like like you know been doing this dj thing learned it enjoyed it and yeah it's going to be basically be good to when we eventually start doing that like what what, what that will be like the whole it's going to be an tour. interesting one because you want it to do well yeah but it's something you actually love. So part of you will be like, I don't care about the numbers. But at the same time, you need the numbers for it to do well. well this to be the thing. Yeah. It's, it's like, going to be a tough one. You can have a like... DJ career with no one turning up to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is the thing. Like, with uh, YouTube numbers, it's like you get a video that gets 3 million, a video that then gets 1 million. You're like, oh, right? Because in that thing, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, as yeah. big as you got. With here, we're going to be doing like, what? A thousand people... Venues, a thousand people, just uni town, uni town, uni town, uni town, and then grow it that way. So it's not like we need to get fucking millions of people. Yeah. All you need is just like a thousand people that are willing to pay like a fiver or tenner. We're not going to do fucking ridiculous prices. We just like I say, oh, I just want to make a and movie the, with it. And at the same, I mean? at the same time, you've got the the sort of natural draw to a nightclub anyway. Yeah. I mean, like people are out on the town, yeah, especially when let's go to this nightclub. Open, yeah, like you know what I mean, yeah, the there's fact so that much less pressure. Yeah, the fact that as well, like, it's been dead, obviously, nightlife so long, people are gagging for a oh, night yeah, out. Time, yeah. Um, yeah, like, you know, the idea that we're going to be like, mate, we're going to be someone, some people's first ever night out. Yeah. I think about that, first yeah. ever night out. It's actually quite sick that you will not have the pressure of, you know how, like, before, if you were doing an event, you'd have the pressure of selling the tickets, you've got to sell out. Yeah. We've you got have to... that pressure removed, and it will only be a bonus. You can yeah. only get more people there. Do you know what I mean? People mm. aren't going to not go to a nightclub. Mm. You'll only add to that situation. So it's you know. Yeah, and the show, like, we've already, like, been planning it. We know, like, we've been doing, like, experimenting with all the genres. So we've been, like, <laughs> fucking loving it. Like, it's been really good. And we're excited to show it. Because, obviously, there's going to be so many people that are going to be going, these YouTube mugs blatantly know what they're doing. Well, you, and they, well, they, they're going to they're think it's going to fail. You got, you know? you know, I'd say you've got that guy to come around and yeah. sort of judge you. Oh, no, our tour manager, our yeah. tour manager who has been doing events fucking for years and years, like, he came round to see if, like, we're any good. And he was ready to have the chat with me of, like, oh, yeah, Joe, mate, like, you know, it's, we've got a good idea here, but it's ain't up to scratch, yeah. like, on a level. Which, to be fair, like, probably would expect. Yeah, you don't I, mean, that's what, that's what I think most people are probably expecting, like, yeah. it's going to be pretty average. He's probably going to fuck up multiple, multiple times, and it all just sound a bit average. Mm. But, like, where, like, we have been... And it's where I have to thank the fact that, you know, we have had parties in your social bubble. with our social bubble very, very frequently, fucking every other day, like practicing, because practicing in that and party environment is what it's all about, right? And that we've had so much practice, like almost, you know, with a small crowd, like a four group of people. people. No, but do you know what I'm saying? Like, whether it's four people, yeah, yeah, no, or yeah, it's yeah. still like people, right? Yeah, it's being able to read who's in front yeah, like, of you. read that and just like work, figure out what works and whatnot. Like, it's been sick. I also hope that when you do it, you have like a, um, you know how like, you want like a fruity aspect to the mix. So like, for example, all I want for Christmas has to come on. Mate. Like, oh, like I know people, people's like, mate, oh, it's mate, the middle of summer. Mate. Fuck off. Party it, in the USA is never leaving <laughs> our set That is, ever. no, that's my jam. Mate, I fucking love it. The it's way I bring that one jam, in. That, oh, I'll lose the shit. Mate, I'll be at the front Imagine of the like crowd. you're playing gigs be, and then just... <laughs> I'll be in the <laughs> toilets. I'll come back like, out. Mate, it's quality. Come back out from the toilets to party in the USA. Yeah. Yeah. Party in the that's toilets. what I'm saying. We've got loads of tricks, mate. At WWE, something like, do you know what I mean? Like, we, we mash up. Like, it's people, really... Do you know what pisses me off? What? When people say, oh, that song was shit. Fuck off. Everyone loves these like proper like eighty seven songs. Everyone loves eighty seven. What? Well, fruity songs. Yeah, I love them. And people, all these like rugby players, or maybe not rugby. I should probably love them. <laughs> but like, a bit personal, <laughs> man. All these guys are out there. Like, oh, that song's so shit. No, you secretly love Goes it. Goes off em- You're embarrassed to say that you love it. Yeah. And actually, the manly thing and the cool thing to do is say that I love Miley Cyrus. Well, that's the thing, mate. When, <laughs> if you can represent <laughs> who you truly are and just say, this is me, uh, I'm proud, like, love is love. <laughs> love is love. Like, <laughs> Taylor Swift, bangs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you actually, what's, what's the radio station that you always listen to? Smooth FM? No, 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 it's country or something. Uh, no, it's actually smooth country. <laughs> Such a bang. But this is the thing, like, part of, so part of obviously, like, the DJ stuff, like, when I've freaking, like, gone to concerts and watched live, 
Like it's like the DJ will maybe just play what he wants to play and what he enjoys, but not like read the crowd or do like loads of that scratching bollocks that no one wants to hear. It's like what lot like, I guess has been good something that we've noticed is obviously where being YouTubers, you know, dealing with a crowd, dealing with like, you know, reading what our audience likes, doesn't like, it's been very easy to almost implement that within our set with what mm. we play and like not necessarily just stick to one thing. But like, keep it unpredictable. Keep it like, oh my god, they're appealing to multiple senses all over my body. <laughs> and it's the uni students just love yeah. the old school bangers. They just love everything. Yeah. Now, it's got to that point in the show where we play, do or drink with you guys. Um, Everyone so watching right now at home, get yourself a drink if you're over eighteen. Yeah, get yourself a beverage of some kind because basically, uh, uh, um. Guys watching at home right now. You must kiss the person next to you. Guess which player has had or given roadhead. Hopefully none of us. So they have to guess who no, has had. had, who has received or oh. given roadhead out of us three. Is that whilst driving? So basically you're driving, getting sucked or noshed off. Go on, guess, boys. And girls. Wait, so I, what? Okay, so guess now and then we'll quickly say. Well, I'll quickly write it. I can hurry up. Right, they've written it. Part of the lads. Theo, have you been sucked off whilst driving? Yes. How was it, lad? Yeah, it was fucking sick. Isn't that against the law? Oh. Yeah, that's obviously a hypothetical. <laughs> <laughs> really? Do, have you ever, like, yammed it live whilst driving? Yammed it? What's you know, it's that? Like, it's like yammed it. No, what, but you've wanked multiple times whilst driving and spaffed on yourself <laughs> whilst driving on the motorway. Dodgy guy. Very, very dodgy. And I know for a fact that you saw someone driving next to you and that no, got you know. wet. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> what I saw a mix of wet and erect in the same... <laughs> wet. Um, no, I've not looked at someone whilst driving and wanking. I've driven... Okay, two, two, two occasions. Right, two occasions. On a private road, you were doing this. What, is that illegal in public? <laughs> it, it might be. <laughs> you're, dri also, you're driving on a private street, weren't you? I was driving on mine. <laughs> in a so, car park. Wait, it's also illegal to wank in a car park. We've done that multiple times. <laughs> don't, get him, don't get him arrested. And on a fucking plane. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So have you been sucked <laughs> off or yammed it live? What is yammed it? Is that <laughs> licking it's about? Yeah, I mean, what, while life. they're driving? Wait, what? Have you ever How is that a thing? <laughs> so they're driving. How is that out? How? How is that safe? How are they meant to, like, you do all the pedals? <laughs> Automatic cruise control. <laughs> it's not being, like, stereotypical, but surely it's easier for a bloke to get sucked off than a girl to yeah, get yeah, yeah. Yeah. yammed out, as well, you say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yammed out? That's like, a horrible, horrible dying saying. Dying crash. I was yeah. on a private road going one mile an hour. Yeah, no, no. I've got well, so... Yes, yes. No. no. You've never been like yammed yeah. it live. Or we'll given it, obviously. <laughs> no. I've okay, never. Fair enough. Actually, wait. The car we... has been stationary. Actually, every yeah, time no, I... neither have I, to be fair. Fair enough. Well, another question we actually had in, I've remembered it because it was quite a good one. <laughs> if you had to have a threesome with one of the waffling boys <laughs> and a girl, who are you picking? <laughs> Why? You fancy him? No, I'm not. I'm suck his cock <laughs> together. You can imagine how <laughs> creepy you'd be in the bedroom. You'd be fucking weird. What? You'd be, you'd be too aggressive. What, are you focusing on me or something? You'd be too aggressive. No, but I reckon you're the sort of person that tries to make eye contact <laughs> with the boy as well. You are. Right. You, you are. Do it. Right, I am, am I? Yeah. Is that what we've got to? <laughs> <laughs> what? So you don't? Because you've had a threesome before. Did you or did you I not did make... I did not look at the male in the eye. But what I did do is suck him up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, listen. Um, so you're picking Luke because <laughs> you like like... No, I, no, I'm picking Luke because I don't want you. <laughs> <laughs> you got <can't. laughs> <laughs> Come on, show, show off a bit more, mate. What? Right, who are you picking then, chum? Oh, Rose for life, man. Oh. I want man. to, but I also imagine that your cock is green for some reason. So you'd like rather look at my cock. <laughs> this really is a fruity show, isn't it? This is... Wait, let me get this straight. You'd actually genuinely rather stare at his eyes... Yeah, mind. but the no, thing is, boys, you do realise in a threesome, you don't actually have to start interacting with the boy. You don't. No, no, we know that. Yeah, we know you know that. Why your your, your <laughs> main focus is what you're going to be doing to me or him. No, I'm, wor I mean? I'm worried about you that you're going to look me in the no, eye. No, I'm, well, I'm telling you, brother, I'm not. You think when like, we've yeah. got 
we've got a nice woman and it's me and you, what I'm going to be focused on. I don't give a fuck. I'm doing me. No, but I feel like when you're in that sort of moment, you're going to try and assert your dominance no, and you'll bro, look not, me in the so eye. This is, where you're, this is very small dick energy, mate. Right? <laughs> very, no, very... No, no, this, like, this is my opinion. I am not going to do this any of that. This is what I believe would happen. Right, you're right, well, mate. you're wrong. Because, well, I know what I do. <laughs> oh, you're a Right, who am I picking? You can't say that. You can't say how many bleeps you can't be. Why can't you say you're going to bleep? Why can't you say that? You're making Tom's job so hard. Wait, why can't you say that? Beep, 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 beep. Oh, let's all just fucking grow up. Oh, grow up. No, because. Grow up! We can be these snowflakes that just sort of pander to the bollocks, or we can just be the boys. Don't let him even this question, by the way. What? Pick someone. Yeah, who are you picking? You have to fix. Fist Honestly, I'm worried about your hygiene. Mate, I'm literally clean. Okay, so he's picked you. me. Who am I picking? I'm probably going to go with Luke because I think you... No, that's a bit deep if I say that. <laughs> what are you going to yeah. say? I know what you're going to say. No, I'm not going to say that. No, because that was actually a bit hard. I think you actually should pick me. No, I was going to pick Luke just because I think... we well, just probably like... In, like, in terms of... Because I can do what I do, but if like whoever the... The other person is letting... He thinks I could satisfy her better than you, basically. Like, <laughs> let's have a fucking... Let's go test it out right now. <laughs> what? I, just, I don't know. Meet you, you in there. Why don't you be real? We can do it on each other. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> this is one just for you, boys. Remove your pants and sit in your underwear. Like, remove your trousers. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah. I think we owned that one there, then. Show! Um, you got the vaccine, did you? Yes. One of those fucking conformatists of his name. <laughs> He's basically got a lot of shit for getting the COVID, va- Mate, COVID vaccine. The va- like, the- what do you reckon about that? Like, Basically, I'm asthmatic and I got a text from the NHS saying, come get your vaccine. And all these fucking little football avi tossers. Oh, they oh came yeah, it's my, always football. They Twitter, came from my, and, they, and all these little smart asses. Smart that go, ass. They go to uni and think, oh, look at me, I'm fucking tosser. Fuck off, twat. He said, oh, looks what, look what a bit of money can buy you. The vaccine. I think you're a YouTuber. They literally people said to me, oh, "We know you're on top of the list because you're a YouTuber." They think the NHS put me at the top of the list because I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> they think they actually look through people's occupations. YouTuber slap them up the list. I got I got so livid. I almost what replied. What are you gonna do to them, Theo? I'll fucking reply and call them a fat twat. What was that? Oh, battery exhausted. Battery exhausted, right? Oh, that's what it is. Oh. Should we just wrap it on that? Yeah. yeah. Right, we're gonna wrap it. You lot, remember, leave a like, rate, and if you've got to this point, comment <laughs> saying. <laughs> Theo, you are the fruitiest Don, but Wella, I would I would have a threesome with you. Right. Anyways, remember you can listen to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or anywhere that does good podcast services. Please Until next off. time, follow us on Instagram at Wafflin Podcast and at Wafflin Pod on Twitter. And our Facebook. Facebook as well. Enter the competition that you'll see the post about on the Facebook page. And we will see you next time. We love you. Waffling Mafia, over and out.